When I first got the opportunity to meet Austin Brantley, I was blown away by the profundity of his work. His sculptures pose an immense expressiveness infused with ardent meaning, deep-rooted culture, and historical heritage very much alive and relevant in today's societies globally. Austin Brantley, sagacious and empathic, exudes such a calming demeanor. Conversations with him about his art, about his life, will take you on journeys through Europe, South America, throughout the world, learning about profound, defining moments in the becoming of Austin Brantley, the artist. Austin's exhibition, entitled Course, is a sculpture series that invites the viewer to look at the systematic racism and stereotypes connected to the textures and styles of black hair and to consider the preferential treatment of straight hair as evidence of social barriers and biases against black Americans. I hope you enjoy this moment meeting the artist and the artwork of Austin Brantley. I'm Austin Brantley. I'm a sculptor from Detroit, Michigan. Um, I was born in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, and then I grew up in southern Germany for, for a few years and then I moved back to Detroit and then then later to Metro Detroit. I went to school at Berkeley High School where I taught myself how to actually sculpt. I started in a ceramics class, um, just making small faces and then eventually uh, monumental sculptures. I think the journey started for me really to become an artist, like the first First mm -hmm. time I really thought I was going to be an artist was uh, when I came to this, this my class, my ceramic class, and uh, all my pieces were broken by some kids. I, I don't even know who they were. It was probably like 15, 16. Mm -hmm. they, some kids that broke my pieces, and I remember that that was like the only reason I even went to school was to be in the ceramics class. And when I, um, uh, when I saw those pieces broken, I, like, I was very angry, obviously. And I um, was, I needed to isolate myself. And uh, I remember going to like a bathroom, staring at myself in the mirror and um, remembering that they could break my pieces, but they couldn't break me. All my pieces are re retaliation against traumatic events in my life because I can take something bad that happened to me and turn it into something beautiful. I feel like that's my real superpower is that no matter what happens to me, I can make something beautiful out of it just like clay. Clay is this really versatile substance, but it's, it can be very hard to work with. Um, and it takes a very gentle and graceful voice to be able to talk to it and to guide it through being, you know, through its processes. Uh, this is a piece I call The Conqueror. It's a self-portrait. Um, for me, doing self-portraits are very self-reflective. Like you have to take a, you have to observe yourself from an unegotistical standpoint. So you have to, have, for me, it's almost like an ego death because I have to really look at myself and then it comes to life in this piece. Um, it's, about, it's about a man that uh, kind of guards his heart against women. And uh, I feel like in this day and age, especially uh, with social media and dating apps that there's so many options out there and there's it's it can be very hard to find the right person for you. So I feel like this piece kind of like kind of shows that it kind of emulates that feeling. I think that every day I'm learning. Yeah. You know, I'm still a student yeah. of, of my craft and every day I'm learning more of the power of art. I think I think the last very like eventful thing that happened to me was I was um, doing a live sculpture. I was, I was sculpting a sculpture in Colombia with my friend who was from Venezuela. He was, uh, he was actually immigrating to Colombia because of like, a, like he had to seek asylum because of um, political problems that are happening in Venezuela. And he had lost all his sculpture tools. He had lost his home, all that. So I um, went to Colombia to meet him specifically and to bring him some tools. Um, from America that he couldn't get from here because of how expensive they are. Um, and he had this idea, we were even gonna make a sculpture, but um, my, I met like a tattoo artist and his sister agreed to like model for us. So we were out in this plaza in Colombia just randomly. And then 
we made um, sculptures of, of that model. And all these people, I think 300, 400 people just came around us um, and just watched us sculpt like from start to finish you know, these, these two busts of this model. And um, I remember we, my Colombian Spanish isn't all the way there, but I, but I remember that um, my friend was talking, his name was Rafael, and he was talking about the power of art so much. Like, mm -hmm. he really believed in it, and then I, I think that trip really inspired me. Because uh, sometimes I, I think I take that for granted, the, the power of art, the power art can do to people. Yeah. Um, but I feel like the, the main person I had to believe in was myself, and that was the hardest. Um, believing in myself was, was the hardest, because it's a balance between um, um, knowing yourself and wanting to learn more. Sometimes I feel like a, a ninja, not Go even there. an artist, man, Go because there. I feel Go like there. I have, uh, like I'm on a mission or something like that. I have to drive here, make these, blah, blah, blah. I feel like uh, I'm like a mercenary or something like that. And uh, the people I've met feel feel that way, you know, like they they will make art in their homes and then they'll drive all the way across America and do an art show. And I really, really think those people inspire me because they're like, uh, what's the word? Like merchants, you mm -hmm. know, I, I love that idea of like, um, like traveling and meeting all these interesting people. I felt like I've met so many interesting people in my path just because of the fact that you'll be like, making art one day and then meeting other artists the next day and everybody has all these beautiful skills and ideas and creative imaginations and that all feeds together in, my, in myself, I believe. I think I have those feelings and moments before I make the work. Yeah. Like I definitely, you know, I'm a person so I go through life and then in the studio it's like a, um, I should say like a deeper part of myself comes out that can kind of observe all those things happening and then I'm able to cope with them by turning them into sculptures or manifesting them in a different way. That's, that's something I, I think um, is really interesting about art is that you can take one thing and turn it into something else. As I was looking at a couple of the pieces, I felt like some Kara Walker in there too. I was also feeling like some Romare Bearden up in here. Oh man, it's that, like, uh, those are huge compliments, thank you. Man, for real, for real, and I mean that too, man. Like your work is phenomenal, brother, and I don't mean that lightly. For real, for real, phenomenal. And I look forward to seeing more things from you. I look forward to seeing more works and more exhibitions. So sure. I can only imagine what the future holds, and I'm dead serious, brother, like you're shining. All I can say is there's no formula to be an, an artist. I feel like you have to wake up with the audacity to claim that you are anything in this world. And um, it's about believing in yourself. You know, even if no one else does, it's about having a vision. Um, and um, for me, what works for me is uh, the emotional content of my life. Like uh, I use that emotional content to create because people feel that and it's I feel like art is about feelings art is about feeling things and it's about ideas and uh if you have that you I don't think you can go wrong thank you brother I really appreciate it let me get in front of this camera make sure I get up in there with you brother appreciate oh, you man I really, really appreciate you it's a pleasure and an honor to have this brother in here man it's a pleasure and an honor to share the room with this brother make sure you get a chance to come out and check out his show if he's ever in your town be sure to go see it be sure to go see it. Be sure to meet this brother. Fabulous brother, peaceful brother, beautiful energy, beautiful mind. And you can just see the fabulous works, y'all. So make sure you come on and check them on out. Thank you, brother. It's been a pleasure meeting Thank you, brother. Thank really you, appreciate it. Blessing and love, man. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm.